Hi everyone, this is Sonera from Itsy Bitsy and I'm here to show you how you can make these adorable felt hair clips using some lovely supplies from Itsy Bitsy. Now for my first set of hair clips, I'm going to be making use of this Sizzix Flower Layers die. It's a three die set and it comes with three different flower designs and I'm going to be using two of them. Um, for my first one, I'm going to be using this large almost sunflower design and I'm going to combine it with a purple uh, felt sheet um, and I'm also adding these itsy bitsy um, layers to make it a little thicker than its usual thickness. Now you got to bear in mind felt, polyester felt is a fabric so it doesn't really cut um, very neatly uh, with the dye so <clears throat> by making it a little thicker it makes it easier to cut it and um, you still have to do a bit of touching up by yourself, but at least it um, gets the job done somewhat. Now for this particular clip, I need two of these flowers, so I'm just running it through my Big Shot again. After that, I'm going to set my Big Shot aside and using a little scissors, I'm just going to cut it wherever it's not quite cut by the dye. Once again, remember, felt doesn't cut that well with dyes, even the best dyes, but it cuts pretty much the design so, so trimming it out of the sheet is not a problem. <clears throat> Once that's done I'm going to take one layer and glue it over the other layer and I've got these really pretty flower from Itsy Bitsy which I'm just going to glue on the top and I'm going to take my hair clip now and glue it at the edge of the hair clip. I'm using regular black hair clips but Itsy Bitsy has some lovely alligator uh, clips which are much better for this purpose. For my next clip I'm going to use a hot pink sheet with another dye from the same pack from the same Sizzix uh, flower layers dye. Um, again like I said you're going to need your scissors to just ease it out of the felt because the dye doesn't cut it as well as it would cut paper or cardstock. <clears throat> then using another flower from the same Petite Daisies pack, I'm just going to glue it in the center. Once, once again, using the hair clips, I'm going to glue it to the top and I've already done the pair. Um, so I've got a pair of really sweet hot pink clips. Now for my next uh, clip, I'm going to use the Itsy Bitsy Butterfly Dye with some blue felt. Um, this is really cool because the, uh, the dye has some embossing features in it and um, that embosses the felt really well. But once again, because of the f nature of the felt and the fibers associated with it, it, is, it will not give you a clean cut at the first go. But it's, it cuts it to a large degree so you can just use your scissors to etch it out. Um, Here's a look at the embossing. Isn't it pretty? I'll show you a better picture later. Now I've got these really cute buttons from um, Itsy Bitsy which I'm going to use to make the body of the butterfly and that's pretty much it. My clip is done. I need to just okay. glue it on the back of a hair clip. <clears throat> and once again, um, I'm going to put a little piece of felt at the back to keep it in place. And here I go. My two butterfly clips. Isn't it fun and sweet? My daughter has just the perfect dress for it. <laughs> now for my next project, I'm going to be using the emerald green uh, felt sheet with the itsy bitsy um, leaf dye. Now this is another really versatile dye because it helps you produce three different types of uh, leaves which are great for these kind of projects. <clears throat> um, the, the felt sheet I'm using again needs a little bit of easing out. But once that's done, I'm going to take a pack of Itsy Bitsy fabric flowers and just glue it to the edge. The Itsy Bitsy fabric flowers are just great for this purpose. And again, I've already done the pair. Now for my next uh, clip, I'm going to be showing you how to do a fabric rosette. I've taken a strip of felt which is cut 1 inch uh, wide by 9 inches long. And a good rule of thumb is to remember that whatever the width of your uh, strip it needs to be nine times that length um, then I'm just going to use my needle and thread to create an in and out stitch fairly evenly on this strip just in and out and in and out really straightforward stuff and this you can do not just with felt but also with ribbons 
you can make some really pretty ribbons, ribbon rosettes using the same technique. But I thought I would try it out with a piece of felt because you know this this particular it feels really good when you hold it and when you see it it gives a nice rich texture <clears throat> which looks really pretty when you actually use it. Now I'm just about nearing the end of my in and out stitch and then I'm going to pull the thread so that it all bunches up in a circle and when it's fully bunched I'm going to knot it up at this end to keep it bunched like that. <clears throat> And once I'm done with that, I'm going to join the two ends as neatly as I can and then stitch those together so that the rosette is joined in a nice neat circle. Isn't that fun? I'm using a back stitch to uh, keep it joined because I don't want it to gather again and so back stitch is a really good a securing type of stitch for this kind of a project. Right now I'm gonna just knot it up all done and I'm ready to start putting my rosette together. I'm gonna take another piece of felt, a small little square, the same shade and add a generous uh, helping of glue from my glue gun on that. I'm going to glue it down and again I've got this really cute button from the fashion button set and I'm just going to secure that in place with the glue. <clears throat> so now my ribbon, no, my felt rosette button is uh, clip is done. <laughs> I'm going to glue it onto the back of a hair clip. Once again Itsy Bitsy has much better hair clips, they are these alligator ones. Um, this is actually quite flimsy. <clears throat> And I've, al I've already done another one, which again I'm going to glue on the back of my hair clip. And that's pretty much it. Isn't it cute and fun? So here's the whole set of hair clips. The nice butterfly embossed ones, the felt with the fabric flowers, the felt rosettes in the purple and the pink. Here's a close-up of each uh, particular clip. Isn't the rosette adorable? Here's the deep purple with the petite daisies, nice and rich. Here's the hot pink with the smaller petite daisies, I love this one. Here's the emerald green leaf felt with nice frilly fabric flowers. And here's the butterfly, don't you love that embossing, isn't it pretty? Gorgeous. And here's how it looks when modeled by my daughter. <laughs> here's the nice green rosette. Here's the adorable hot pink. Doesn't she look a darling? Here's, the, here's her all thoughtful in her butterfly clips. <laughs> and here's my mischief maker with her cute little purple clips. Well, that wraps up this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. And stay tuned to many more tutorials from all of us here at Itsy Bitsy. Bye!